everyone welcome back to front of health i am dr mohammad saleh and today i would like to discuss an important aspect of dengue fever that we frequently encounter the pathophysiology behind the reduction in platelet count dengue fever as we know is a viral illness caused by the dengue virus a flavivirus transmitted through the bite of aedes mosquitoes one of the hallmark features of dengue infection particularly in its severe forms is thrombocytopenia or a significant drop in platelet count understanding the mechanisms behind this thrombocytopenia is crucial for better clinical management of the disease first let's consider the direct impact of the virus on the bone marrow the dengue virus primarily targets hematopoietic progenitor cells in the bone marrow leading to a suppression of megakaryopoiesis the process of platelet production This direct infection of bone marrow cells results in reduced production of platelets during the course of the illness. Next we must consider the immune mediated mechanisms. Dengue is characterized by an exaggerated immune response which plays a significant role in platelet destruction. Cytokine storms triggered by the infection leads to increased levels of inflammatory mediators like interleukins, tumor necrosis factor that is TNF and interferons all of which enhance the destruction of platelets furthermore the presence of cross reactive antibodies in secondary dengue infections can lead to immune mediated clearance of platelets through antibody dependent platelet destruction in addition the vascular endothelium plays a critical role dengue is associated with increased vascular permeability which leads to plasma leakage this phenomena seen especially in severe dengue that is dengue hemorrhage fever or dengue shock syndrome results in platelets being sequestrated in the microvasculature further reducing their circulatory levels thrombocytopenia in dengue is also exacerbated by the activation of the complement system complement activation leads to further destruction of platelets and an overall worsening of coagulopathy which if unchecked can manifest as bleeding complications To summarize the reduction in platelet count in dengue fever is multifactorial. One direct suppression of platelet production in the bone marrow. Second immune mediated destruction and clearance of platelets. And third increased vascular permeability causing platelet sequestration. And fourth complement activation leading to further platelet destruction. Managing this aspect of dengue fever requires vigilant monitoring of platelet counts though we know that platelet transfusions are only necessary in cases of significant bleeding or extremely low platelet counts that is less than 10000 per mm3 early recognition of warning signs and supportive care particularly fluid management remain the main stage of treatment homeopathic treatment is very effective in treating dengue fever especially where the platelet count is very low Thank you for your attention take care and bye